okay? So, started last week, they noticed that he was a bit unsteady in his pelvic limb. And so she took him to the doctor on Saturday, in which they did radiographs, and they suspected arthritis. He has still continued to go down. Okay. He's trying. Uh, Poncho is a seven-year-old mixed breed dog that presented today for having trouble walking. Um, the owners did mention that he's had some trouble walking for the last week. He was tried on medical management, which involves anti-inflammatories and pain medications, but he's continued to decline. What I'm seeing on my exam today, he is definitely having trouble walking, very weak in both of his pelvic limbs, definitely worse on the right than the left, um, and very painful in the middle of his back. So I am concerned that he has an issue in the thoracolumbar region of his spine, most likely a disc given his history and his breed, but I can't rule out inflammatory disease such as meningitis or infections or even cancer. So for Poncho, the clients did elect to go forward with medical management. I talked to them about the pros and cons of doing an MRI and then moving forward with surgery if surgery is recommended. Um, the prognosis with MRI and surgery when a patient still has deep pain is very good. It's about an 80-90% chance of them recovering and walking normally. Granted, it is about four-week recovery and then takes full neurologic recovery we do see with around six months. Um, with medical management, it's around a 50-50 chance of them recovering from a spinal cord injury from a disc rupture. Now, once they lose deep pain, that prognosis changes significantly. With an MRI and surgery, with the loss of deep pain, it's usually a 50-50 chance of them recovering fully. And with medications, it could be around 10 to 20% or even less. So I'm hoping with Poncho's case that he will be walking again. I did change his therapy around with the different anti-inflammatories and additional pain medications. And we did teach the clients on how to express his bladder, but I'm hoping that he'll regain that bladder um, function again once he starts walking. I know. Uh, Remy is a seven-year-old female spayed mixed breed dog that is presenting to me today for having difficulty walking. Um, based on her exam, today I am concerned that she has cerebellar disease. The clients described that within the last 24 hours, they noticed that the dog was very wobbly and shaking its head back and forth. Um, she described the ataxia as a cerebellar ataxia with the dog seeming uncoordinated and also developing a sway to its body, so known as a truncal sway or titubation. Based on my exam, those are the main abnormalities I'm seeing, so I'm really concerned that this dog has cerebellar disease. Now, the top differentials that I'm concerned about is inflammatory disease, whether this is autoimmune or infectious disease. Um, the dog does like to run around outside in the barn, and likes to eat random dead animals and um, play with the other animals there, so I will be submitting infectious disease testing with this. Can't rule out a stroke since this happened all of a sudden, and unfortunately I can't rule out cancer as well, but hopefully in a seven-year-old dog she doesn't have a brain tumor. So the plan for her today is to place her under anesthesia to have a brain MRI and also do a spinal tap and I will be submitting um, serum testing for infectious disease. So, so far majority of the scans were normal on this dog, but I am seeing some contrast enhancement. 
I am concerned it may have some meningitis and cerebellitis at the same time. Um, so the meninges is the outer layer of the brain. Um, the cerebellum is the most caudal or back portion of the brain that helps with movement and coordinating your movements. Hey, this is Dr. Sunil calling from Southeast Veterinary Neurology. Hey, I was calling to give you an update on Remy. Uh, Remy's doing great under anesthesia and we've gotten the MRI results. Um, so overall, the structure of her brain is pretty normal. Um, when we do inject contrast, which is a brightening agent that picks up on inflammation um, in the brain, we are noticing there is contrast enhancement right around the cerebellum, which is the back portion of her brain. So I am concerned she has some type of inflammatory process going on. Now it's whether this is an infection or autoimmune disease. So um, I am going to do a spinal tap on her. and. Um, I'll give you a call as soon as she's recovered and then, you know, based on how she's doing, we'll decide whether she can go home today. If she does go home, it'll probably be around 6 o'clock.